our app is really coming together. We can add items to our cart and see them removed immediately. We see the summary and total number of items in the cart up in the nav bar, but there's not an easy way to manage it. We have to go to each one of our products, and if we have it there, we need to remove it manually, like so. What would be better is if we could click on this cart button, this cart summary component, and we could have a modal that would appear before us that would allow us to manage the items better, to see all the items that we have, what quantity they have within our cart, as well as the ability to increment or decrement the amount, to add an additional one or to remove them as we see fit. The way that we're going to do that is by using a cart modal, this cart modal component. And this modal has been created using the React modal package. It's very simple to work with, and it works in a very logical fashion since we understand React state. What we need to do is we just need to click on this cart summary component, and once we do, we will update a piece of state that will pass down to our cart modal and then show it using the is open prop. So to make this work, we're going to need to head back to cart summary and actually add this modal. We'll add it underneath our nav. You see it's wrapped in a fragment. So to not add another DOM element to our page, we can just include the cart modal here since it's going to appear through a portal. And we're going to create a piece of state. We're going to use state. And this value is going to be initially set to false. And this is going to be is open. If you wanted to be more explicit, you could call, you could call it is modal open. And the setter will be set open. Now, to be able to actually change the state and therefore open the modal, we're going to need a way to toggle it. So let's create a function, which we can make a one-liner. We'll call this toggle modal. And in the return, we can just take set open and set it to the opposite value, the opposite the current value of is open. So we can just say not is open. If it's false, make it true, If and vice versa. So when we click on our nav, we can just call that toggle modal function to change our state and then to be able to toggle it and open it within our cart modal, we'll pass down both is open and toggle modal. So we'll destructure both of those properties within the cart modal. And we'll pass is open to the is open prop on modal. And there's additionally a prop called on request close. So when we request to close the modal, we'll also need to call our toggle modal function. So let's save both of these files and see if we can get the modal to open when we click on it. And we do. We're going to see what it's going to look like. Again, we need to include our total price and the number of items that we have here with cart count. And users will have the option to check out now or say they're still shopping. So to be able to hide it, we need to make it possible to click on this still shopping option. And then users will be able to close it. So we're going to once again use toggle modal by adding an on click to that still shopping button. And we can confirm that that works. So first, we're going to need to grab the total price of the cart and the cart count once again, so we know exactly how to do that using use shopping cart. That's going to come from our cart count and formatted total price. So we'll include, we'll insert both of those values and say, cart count items. And now the last step is to include all those items to list them all out here underneath the title. 